See if I can grind it up and make a nice, nice like ground meat. So here is the adult uh, quail right here. That is what your tegu is not getting when you're buying ground meat from the grocery store. Perfect. They love it. Thank you for tuning in to another Rose City Reptiles video. I'm Joey, I run this place, um, and I work hard to bring you guys the best content in Tegu care and reptile care in general. So if you're interested in that, go ahead, help yourself out by subscribing, joining the fam, and today we're gonna bring you a really cool video about how we are helping local farmers feed our Tegus. Not only does it help me feed my Tegus affordably, but it also helps local farmers um sell some of their products that's gonna help my tegus out so in this video today we are going to be going to a local farm buying some quail some adult quail putting them in our food grinder grinding it up making some ground quail meat whole prey perfect food for tegus and we're going to be feeding it some of our tegus so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't stick around to the end that's when we get to see three of our juveniles eat on this quail will they like it will they not I don't know, I think they're gonna just go crazy over it. But stay tuned and let's get going. So we're back from the farm. We just picked up, um, I picked up several rooster quails that are probably about five weeks old. Um, he butchered them right there on the spot for me. So these things are fresh. Um, and you know, I know that air conditioner just turned on. Hopefully y'all can still hear me just fine. Um, I know butchering animals and you know different things like that might be kind of hard for some people especially animal lovers but this is just part of breeding tegus and providing that best care they were definitely butchered humanely um, they didn't even know what happened for sure they weren't ever scared or anything like that just quick quick uh death for these quail um and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take the quail i'm going to try something i've never done this but I'm actually going to take the quail whole and try to feed them through my grinder and see if I can grind it up and make a nice, nice like ground meat in preparation for the baby tegus that we have coming. And also, so here is the adult uh, quail right here. So what I'm gonna do to get him to, he has to fit down here. Here's my grinder. Um, I need to cut him up a little bit into pieces and see if we can put him down in there and grind him up. So. To cut them up, I have some, I have like these gardening scissors and then I have these, what are these, like shears, if there's anything that's a little too tough for the scissors. So I'm gonna cut them up and then I'll be back. All right, we've got our first quail cut up. It's time to test this grinder and see if it can handle this type of workload. So, and also I just wanna say like, if you wanna own a tegu, but you don't think you can cut up dead quail, and put them through a grinder that's totally fine you don't have to do this but when you're in this hobby and you have quite a few animals you know, every penny counts and um, you know sometimes this doesn't necessarily bother me uh, at all so it's something that I do just to stretch that dollar and provide super healthy diet to the animals that I keep and the babies that I'm gonna be raising so let's test it out so here we go I put on some gloves because it is kind of a dirty job. I'm taking this one off and putting this one on. Um, and that's just because I don't know if this grinder will be able to use this one with these bones. But I could put, I could do this and then run it through again with this. But let's see if it can handle this first. All right, we've got the new one on here now. So let's go ahead. Take this quail and start running it through. Like I said, I don't know if it's gonna struggle with this or not, but we'll find out. And you can see how it's coming out, just completely mashed like a ground meat. Now this is, this is all the bones in here. This is the, the breast. That's gonna be the true test um, if it can handle it. Put our legs in there. And then I have this tool here. Me, sorry, the camera's a little shaky. It's kind of a little tricky to do this. But I've got this. This kind of helps you push things down. 
Let's pull that leg out. So this will kind of push it down and we'll see. Look at that. No problem. I'm really happy with how it sounds. Doesn't sound like the machine's struggling at all. Let's see if it struggles with these legs. No issues at all, you guys. So let's turn this off and see what we're looking at. All right, so we've ran one quail through the grinder and look what we end up with. I mean, it's, it's just like perfect mashed meat. And this is, I mean, this is like really good food for your tegus. Um, I mean, everything's in here. Feathers, organs, the meat, the bones, all of it. Everything is in that. That is, that needs no supplements added. I mean, it's just a beautiful meal. So I'm gonna continue cutting and run some more quail through this and I'll be right back. So I know this is kind of nasty, but I mean, look at this, this is the intestines, the liver, the heart, the lungs. That is what your tegu is not getting when you're buying ground meat from the grocery store. So this is what you're getting when you're making the food yourself. Whole prey, ground up, perfect for your tegus. All right, so we just finished grinding up all that quail. It took like literally five minutes. I mean, it's extremely fast. I started off cutting the quail with scissors. I found it to be too slow and kind of got a little bit barbaric and I just ripped them apart with my hands. Sounds terrible, but it was very time efficient. Quail, this is like information that no one needs except for us weird tegu people. But quail tear apart super easy. Their skin is very soft. It's not hard at all. My food grinder worked flawlessly, um, as you can see here. Look at this. I mean, this is perfect. Babies can eat this, adults can eat this, anyone can eat this. I mean, my dogs would probably even love it. So this is, uh, how many quail? I think it's about 12 quail. Yeah, this is 12, 11 quail, 11 quail. So 11 quail, you know, oh, it's kind of heavy, but you can see that's a six quart container, a shoebox size, and it just about filled it up almost. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to get some baggies, separate it all up, and stick it in the freezer. And that is going to be part of what our baby tegus are gonna be eating when they hatch out of these eggs. And also, um, it's gonna be food that we give to the adults. I mean, they absolutely love eating quail. It really is one of their favorite things. And a benefit that I have found from quail, and I have no science to back this up, but tell me if some of you have fed quail before and noticed this, but I've seriously noticed that when you feed quail, it like satisfies them longer. And that I notice that my tegus aren't hungry as often when I feed them quail. I have, I really don't know if there's any evidence behind that or if that's just me, but let me know in the comments if you guys have noticed that as well. So, I'm gonna go get some baggies, put this quail meat away, and maybe we'll even, yeah, let's feed some of our juveniles, actually. They're, I noticed they were kinda hungry when I walked by, they kinda chased me, so let's take a bag of that quail meat and see what they think of it. I, they're gonna go absolutely crazy over it, so I already know that, but let me show you guys what these tegus do for this quail meat. It's incredibly good for them, so let me get a baggie, I'll be right back. We got it bagged up. So this right here, it's about 10 bags I separated. Uh, I think I put about a, I just guesstimated, but I think about a pound in each bag. So, which is about one quail in each bag. So we got 10 bags, we had uh, 11 quail. So then we also have this bonus bag that we're actually gonna bring out to the yard right now and see who wants some. Um, so, and then this, container is gonna go and get deposited into the freezer so I can use it on a different day. Just pull out a bag, let it thaw out, feed it. So I think about that much we'll feed a nice size clutch of baby tegus for a day at first until they're like two weeks old and they're eating everything. So um, let's take that bag, let's bring it around the yard and let's see if these tegus just go nuts for it. I'm, I'm curious, I am curious. I wish tomorrow I'm actually getting um, new 
feeding trays delivered for all the tegus. I'll make a video or I'll at least show them in a video so you guys can see what I'm gonna be using. Um, a lot of people use them already. I don't know why I haven't. They're definitely super cheap and they work really well. So if you are interested in that, I'm gonna be getting some. So like I said, we're gonna feed the juveniles I'm down here with them. You can see Van is uh, busting a shed off. Once he sheds on his back, he's going to look incredible. He definitely smells something. So I'm going to grab that bowl because I don't want to just drop the food in there. That could give a negative feeding response when you got three juvenile tegus together. So I'm going to get the bowl out, put some food in there. I'll show you how I set that up for them. All right, so I try to cover up a lot of surface area so they're not all biting from the same place spreads it out look see these bowls yeah they need replaced i don't know why i got these i got these a few years ago they just didn't work well but this is our last time using it i'm sure we'll repurpose it somewhere else but i'm gonna go ahead and put the food in and see what they think uh, i think i'm gonna put it right up here let's see van is the first one. Ooh, i don't know if i saw that but the red girl came out of nowhere these guys have huge appetites She's definitely looking at me. Oh, well, Van has already found the food. I gotta watch this girl. She is a bullet. She's kind of crazy right now. But Van is loving the ground up quail. That is as fresh as it gets. Literally the meat was super hot. Quail are really hot birds. I mean really chicken and quail is just, really has a high temperature I don't, like when it's alive, but that stuff is fresh. This girl just jumped up. She, they smell food. They know something's going on, so they're just trying to check it out and figure out where it's coming from. But it's up here. Van is getting all he wants. They don't realize that there's food just right there. You guys, go on up. Van will share. But what do y'all think? It's definitely a hit for Van. I love seeing them eat this whole prey. They absolutely love it. Here we go. Now they're finding it. So yeah, it's a little bit of a feeding frenzy right here. So that is how you feed whole prey to your tegus, especially when you're feeding like a, an adult quail. They would have no chance getting that down, but now they can. Grind it up, feed it to them. It cuts back on fighting between the tegus and it offers them something that they wouldn't be able to eat otherwise. Perfect. They love it. So glad I got this contact. As you can see, my tegus are going to absolutely devour this stuff. I mean, I'm probably gonna feed them the adults once a week. Um, and for the babies, this can be a staple easily. I mean, it could be fed daily easy to these babies, but I'll probably, you know, I have so many other foods I need to feed and so many other things that I want to feed and keep it so varied. Um, I'll probably feed it to the babies, uh, at least a few times a week. Um, so yeah, really glad I got this contact. We've got a lot of quail. Oh, I see something interesting going on. I love my yard. I seriously love my yard. The take you smell the food but I see something, I'm gonna show you guys. Come with me, come on, come on. Come over here, I'm gonna open up this cage quietly so we don't disturb her. Look at what I'm looking at. This right here is a nesting female. You guys can see that's pumpkin. She is working on gathering up the hay that I gave her and she's going to be putting it into her hide right there. So, um, if I remember right, I believe last year she nested for three days before she laid. This is her first day nesting. This is my first time seeing her. I'm able to catch this on camera. Look at her. See how she pushes it into the hide? Really, really cool. Amazing that I get to just see this in my own backyard and I get to bring it to you guys. So, super awesome. And then inside of her hide, she's actually going to build this huge nest. It's like a bird nest, but on the ground. Very compact, very well thought of. Just a perfect little nest. And she's going to work endlessly on it, nonstop. I'm gonna give her some more hay soon. There was a big pile out here that I gave her two days ago. 
and that's gone. So she is working hard on building that nest. And so we should be seeing eggs maybe in a few days. Definitely gonna keep a close eye on her and this quail is gonna help her bounce back after she lays those eggs. Few quail meals in you and you will be 100%. So, got some other tegus following me around. They definitely smell what I was serving. Um, but I'm gonna go put the rest of that food in the freezer. So whenever I'm taking my prepared ground meat and I'm gonna freeze it, let me show you a little trick that I have discovered that really helps me out whenever it's time to thaw the food out. So if you freeze it like this, it'll take longer to thaw out. But if you take it and you kind of mash it down a bit, then when you go to thaw it out, it's a lot thinner and it thaws out faster. So but yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Join the Tegu fam at Rose City Reptiles. I'm Joey. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.